Hey YouTube, it's uh, Tay Fades, and I'm uh, making a tutorial on how to make your Windows PC or computer look exactly like a Mac. So let's get to this. Um, if you want to get the background, go to Google, Google.com, go to Images, and type Snow Leopard Wallpaper. Now go down to the brightest one, which would be this one. Well, it wouldn't be this one. I got the link. There it is. It's Gazi, net all that. I'll give you the link. So after you do that, um, go to rocketdoc.com and then download version whatever you want I suggest version 1.3.5 or that one the latest version and then if you want to get the Mac cursor go to this hope this tutorial is not that good right now but go to that link click download download now right there and when you download it you go to your control panel. Computer slow, sorry. Hardware and sound. Oh wait, no, you don't go to hardware and sound. It's right there. Come on. Go back. My bad. Screwed up. Then go to mouse. Change pointer appearance. And then scheme. Mac OS X. And then pick what you want. Um, I just use the normal one. And then once you do that, go to uh, if you want to get the Mac OS X leopard skin. Go to this link. Well, I'll just tell you what to do. Rocketdog.com. Get add-ons. Snow Leopard. I think that's right. Yep. And then you go to this one. Download it. I'll just download this one right now. To show you guys. And then go to computer. OS X. Or not OS, just OS. Go down to Rocket Dock. If it's in here. Apparently not. Oh, you gotta go to Program Files. There it is. Go down to Rocket Dock. Skins. You need a WinRAR for this. And then you just drag this in there. I think I already have it in there. Yep. I'll just do this. And then, let me close this out. Good. This is the dock I'm using right now that I customized. Uh, do dock settings. I'm not changing. I'm just telling you what you guys what you guys should do. And then go to style. No. Yeah, style. And then click what you want. Um, I'm using Vista right now. That. And I use the B Bass text because I think it looks the best. Click OK. And then to get the icons like this, to get the cool dock and this, you go to. <clears throat> You go to windowsblinds.com. I'll just type. Nah, I'll just tell you guys what to do. Go to Google. Windows blinds. Stardock.com. And then download. Free download. You get a free trial, but when you're done with the free trial, you just uninstall it, then re-download it, then you'll get more 30 days. 
So, go to your desktop, open Windows Blinds, and then this pops up. I use the Mac OS X Tiger, but you have to add the skin to this. So you go to Get More Skins, and it'll bring you to a web you, to that. Type in, ju just type in in the search bar. Well, go go to All, and then click Windows Blinds. Click Mac OS X. That's all you gotta put. Ooh, Mac. We don't want that one. That one does not work. And then, oh my God, it keeps messing up. I don't know why it does that. Why doesn't it just do Windows Blinds? Yeah. Mac. And then go to the one that says Steve Greenier, click it, download, then once you click download, you go to this, I think, I, I forgot how to do this part, but skin options, install new, And then go to downloads, and it should be right there. Just double click it, and it'll install it on here. If you guys want to see me demonstrate it, I'll put a new one on that I like. I like the Sublime one. Click apply changes, continue. Then it'll like fade your screen out. Let that load. And then it changes everything. Don't, it won't mess your computer up. You just wait. Come on. Now we just got to wait for the, there. All right, now it's got this. See? And then go back to Mac OS X Tiger. Apply changes. And there, back to normal. Let this load. There, it's changing. Oh my God. And then close this out. As this is messing up. Wow. I don't know what the hell's going on. There. Fixed. Double click. Get that back. Alright, now setting up your Mac is done. I'm going to show you how to get the icons. So, go to Google. And type in icon packager. Go to the first link, www.iconzone.com. Oh, no, put me in Shopzilla, damn it. Go to icon and then download. Do not buy, download. And then when you're done with that, you open it up. And you download the Vista Reflective Icons. iVista, go to windowsedge.com, and then this will come up, oh wait, nope, wrong one, that's the one you do not want to go to, you want to go to this one, I'll put all the links in the description, and then download, just download it, and go to icon packager public, Continue. Oh, it's installing. Hold on. Icon Packager. Open it. And then 
icon packages you're gonna have to add you're gonna have to add the icon package so you go to add icon package install from disk go to wherever you put it mine's on my desktop double click open and then when you get it I gotta find it there it is click it and then apply icon package and then you're done your your computer looks exactly like a Mac so and now I'm gonna teach you guys how to get the uh, fences that I have uh, it really does make your computer look more fancier and makes it more organized so you would want to go to fences so go to stardock I'll just put the link and then free download and once you download install it then you might have to restart your computer but that's if your computer needs you to restart it download it and then you could just add all your stuff in here you can move it organize it all my folders are in here all my games are here my programs so this is Tay Fades or XEX Live EHD whatever you guys want to call me please subscribe like and comment if this tutorial worked it probably wasn't the best it was my first one so please thank you thanks for watching this video I'm putting your time I hope it works thanks peace